Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for another cheese box rummage today. We have the Wilson certified cheese box in front of us that contains ComC pickups from over the years, and we are just gonna pick at random and see what we pull from the box. And here is a great card to get started from the 2011 Tops release. One of my favorite parallels, if not my overall favorite parallel from the 21st century to date, the Cognac Diamond Anniversary. And look at that Ichiro. What a player, what a card, what a photograph, and what a parallel. That is simply awesome. Really happy to see that come out of the box in the first spot. And yeah, the light is actually doing it justice here. Uh, they're, they're just fantastic. If you don't have one of these cognacs and you follow a player who was in the league in 2011, uh, or even one of the retired players who's in the set, uh, cannot recommend enough picking one of those up. A lot of hockey card here. This is a rainbow color wheel Johnny Gaudreau of the Calgary Flames. Uh, these are EPAC exclusives on ComC. You cannot get these out of Opeachy Platinum product. Either, either uh, retail or hobby. You can only get them by uh, using the EPAC app and exchanging for them on ComC. Uh, but just very colorful, obviously, rainbow color wheel. It's exactly what it sounds like. All the colors of the rainbow. They've been doing these since 2016, and they're kind of sneaky cards in some cases uh, just because they are EPAC only. Uh, so big players can be uh, tough to find and a little bit of money. Vintage next here. Here's another 1955 Tops card for my ongoing pursuit of that set. We have Bob Trice for the KC Athletics. Look at that awesome team logo with the elephant here in the upper corner. Pretty clean looking card. I mean, the corners aren't exactly super sharp, but beautiful example. And here's the back, of course. Amazing backs on those mid-50s Tops cards. Look at that color. Just awesome. So we'll put that one alongside uh, Ichiro here on a stand. A couple of nice uh, horizontal baseball cards there. Uh, let's go into the left portion of the box. Got another hockey card here. And this is an Aaron Ekblad. And I picked this up. He's a talented defender. You probably haven't heard of him. He plays in Florida with the Panthers, which is, you know, not exactly a hotbed of hockey activity. Uh, but this is from Opeachy Platinum. And it's a white ice parallel, serial numbered to 199 on the back there. So uh, just another shiny hockey card there, like the first one that we saw. Uh, next up, another hockey card. And this is one that I've shown before, but I just bought multiple copies of this because I'm a huge believer in this card. Uh, it is hockey's version of the 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Featuring uh, the best player in the world, Connor McDavid, uh, smashing... Uh, you know, every other player in the league this year in terms of point production uh, may go on to lead the league in goals, assists, and points uh, flat out uncontested. And if that ends up being the case, uh, that will be quite an amazing feat that hasn't been done in some time. Um, these were redemption cards uh, via EPAC onto ComC as well. Not really sure how many were produced. Um, I don't think it's rare, but I don't think there are a million of them either. And I just love that throwback. Um, I think this is a card that uh, in time is going to be quite valuable. Um, it's already gone up from the point where it was, you know, a sub $10 card when I was buying them uh, to probably being like a $25 to $30 card right now. Um, but I still think it actually has quite a bit more room to grow even beyond that. So just a neat one there. Uh, let's go back in the vintage baseball section again, or the vintage section. Another 55 Dave Hoskins with the Cleveland Indians. This one's a little bit OC left to right, but another really clean example that is for my set build. Uh, this one I got not too long ago because it does have the paper insert. And this one is card number 133. So uh, two nice additions there to the 55 top set build. Have to uh, kind of do a tally on where I'm at with that. I believe I'm, uh, if, I, if I remember, I'm somewhere around the one-third complete, or somewhere around there, so not too bad. Uh, looks like another hockey card next. We're kind of alternating today between baseball and hockey, but here's a Patrick Kane. This is from the first ever Opeachy Platinum release, and it is the Tracks Parallel. 
also known in the world of Panini as like a mojo prism, but just a really sharp card. Uh, Kane is probably going to wrap up his career as the most uh, successful uh, American-born player in NHL history, or certainly in the discussion anyway. So just a cool early career uh, parallel of Kane. Let's go back into the right side here. And we have a baseball card here. Uh, kind of the lone man left standing, or I guess the biggest name left for the Red Sox to build their roster around in the coming seasons. Uh, and a guy that I've collected for years now on and off, Rafi Devers. This is his first Bowman Chrome, uh, just a base card, but kind of got a little paranoid that with all the Devers cards that I own, had failed to pick up a first Bowman Chrome, uh, even though it's not terribly expensive. And so grabbed one of these, um, I think it was about six or $7.00. So it's nice and mint and very well centered. Um, just one that I kind of felt like it was essential to have in my collection, given that I am uh, somewhat of a Devers player collector. So pretty cool first Bowman there. Uh, let's do a top load card. And here's an awesome one. 53 Bowman color. Get the uh, insert out of here. This is Herm Weimeyer. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I'm, if I'm not, let me know in the comments. From 53 Bowman Color with the Cincinnati Reds. Look at that image. I love this set. If I didn't have, you know, 65 other ongoing hobby pursuits, I would love to land more cards uh, from this release. But as it is, uh, keep my eye open for cheap singles from time to time when they're not in total beater shape. And uh, that was definitely the case with this Herman Weimeyer. So, uh, Kind of similar condition-wise to what I try to do with any of my raw 50s cards, you know, for set builds or projects or just, you know, for fun type pickups. So there's a cool 53 Bowman color. A lot of nice uh, vintage coming out of the cheese box today. Let's make a little bit of space here. All right, we're at the seven minute mark, so let's keep pulling for a little bit longer here. Uh, another McDavid today and another card that you've seen in the past, and I'm a huge believer in, in fact, I think this came out of even a recent cheese box rummage, so I'm just going to move on uh, past this, but clearly I picked up a significant number of copies of this, um, just as far as, you know, cards from the last five or six years that are not hard to find. This is one of the ones that I believe the most in. Uh, really cool Crosby McDavid there. Uh, let's see... Oh, here's a great baseball card featuring a guy who's seeing some time on the channel of late. And I actually have some more stuff of his coming soon as well. Cal Ripken Jr. Um, I've talked about it before, but when I was a kid collector, I was a player collector above anything else. And the three guys that I gravitated towards were Will Clark, Nolan Ryan, and Cal Ripken Jr. So Ripken was a big part of my childhood in the hobby. And uh, this is one of the better inserts, in my personal opinion, of the 1990s, the 1994 Flair Hot Club set. 10-card insert set with these die-cut baseball gloves, you know, featuring all the best players in the game. I think I've shown off in the past uh, my Griffey, which I'm fortunate to have, and at least a few others from the set. Um, I have a goal to build the entire 10-card set, um, just because I remember what a big deal these were back in the day. And uh, yeah, just really cool to see a Ripken card on the channel because uh, I do have some more Cal coming. He's a player that I've been uh, gravitating towards in the off season and uh, in the beginning of the baseball season here. So another cool Ripken. Let's do at least one more card. Uh, here's a Wayne Gretzky, the first Upper Deck Gretzky from the 1990 Upper Deck Hockey release. Their inaugural release in the sport of hockey. Great clean image of the great one with the Kings. Picked this up because I was just trying to grab three copies of each of his base upper deck cards because I have started a Wayne Gretzky Z folio and I wanted to make a row of three uh, of each of his kind of key base upper deck cards. So let's do one more uh, before we call this a day and uh, see if I can pick out something kind of cool here. All right, here we are. Check this one out. This is a vintage hockey card from the Parkhurst release in 1959, Officials Intervene. And I, I was fascinated by this because I think it's one of the only examples I can think of that shows fighting on a licensed hockey card. Um, I know, I believe I've heard, and I think it is the case, that in the modern game, 
The NHL, obviously, they're trying to deprecate fighting in the game, and I understand that. Um, but even prior to the awareness that's come around the last, say, 15 years about head injuries and CTE, even when fighting was still encouraged in the game and by fans, it wasn't really encouraged on trading cards. I think uh, maybe the league just, you know, reputationally knowing that, you know, kids were collecting these, they, um, I believe they don't even allow fighting to be shown on trading cards. And I don't know if that's coming from the NHL or the Players Association or both, uh, but anyway, this one from the late 50s absolutely shows a crazy brawl. Looks like between the Canadians and the Maple Leafs. And then you got the refs jumping in here to intervene, as the title says. Here's the back of the card. Uh, if you don't read French, you'll probably have a hard time uh, getting through this. But cool back anyway. It does have a surface wrinkle on it. I do not care. Uh, picked this one up in a massive sale uh, where the seller had it listed for under $10.00. And I was just fascinated by the illustration and even more so the subject matter. So really cool 50s hockey card there to end it. Officials intervene. And that is going to be a wrap on today's cheese box rummage. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending a few minutes of your very valuable time checking out some of my ComC pickups. And I'll certainly be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Till then, take care and enjoy the hobby, everybody.